Okay, so now we have loaded up our brushes, we have loaded up our color palettes or the pattern file, and now it's go time. So to do this technique, we wanna make sure that we have selected on the left-hand side of the screen, over here, the pattern stamp tool. And if you don't see that pattern stamp tool, it could be um, underneath the clone tool, but I have mine handy there. And so then you're gonna see the dialogues like this at the top. And now you just wanna open up your brush window. And here I have got my brush window open and I've got some of my, uh, my original collection, which was my Modern Impressionist brushes. So you select whichever brush you want. And I'm gonna close that panel and up here, is where we select our colors that are gonna be coming out of our brush. So um, this is the Masters Color Blend, which was all sampled from Impressionist Masters. And as you can see, I've made um, a really cool selection of color palettes for you. And if yours doesn't look like this, you can also um, see them in a small thumbnail format or a large li uh, small list or a large list format. So you can see them however you like. I'm gonna leave this one as a large thumbnail and I'm gonna grab one of these yellow color blends and now I'm ready to start painting. The one thing that I wanna make sure that you um, take a look at is that impressionist needs to be checked, not aligned, but impressionist. And now I can go through here and just start painting and create these amazing dimensional brush strokes. And the real beauty of this technique is that you have complete control over all of the colors rather than a color jitter, which you, is so imprecise. Um, and also the colors have to be related. So with this technique, you can just absolutely do anything. And I'm just gonna show you here. Let's pop out my brush window. So I'll just go through and show you how each brush is different. Each brush distributes the colors differently. So you can use the same color palette, but you're gonna see the difference in the brushes. So here's brush number one. Here's brush number two. So it's very streakier. Here's brush number three. It's like softer. So there is just so many different brushes and most of my brushes have pressure sensitivity, which is great. This one is quite nice. And um, the lighter that you press, especially if you're using a pen, I definitely recommend getting any kind of pen tablet. It can be the cheapest one, but it's gonna give you so much more control. If you use lighter pressure, you're gonna have a softer color blending. If you use heavier pressure, you're gonna have more dramatic with most of my brushes. So that's just a little demo to show you how easy it is. I love this fuzzy one here. That is absolutely gorgeous. So that's how easy it is to um, do this technique. And also if you wanna change your color palette, you like this brush, you can you just go back up here to the top, grab a different color blend and start painting. So it is absolutely just that easy. I usually give you a ton of color blends. I've got freebies on my site. And then in the next videos, I am going to show you how you can make your own um, amazing color blends.